dating isn't easy. Especially when you have to find a mate in a limited time frame. Many frogs, especially those living in northern climates, start calling to each other in the spring as the temperatures warm. However, our changing climate is complicating this process. As weather patterns continue to change around the globe, these breeding seasons may become more unpredictable, causing amphibian populations that are already declining due to habitat loss and diseases to face even more challenges. Fortunately, there is something we can do to help. Our daily activities, such as driving to school or work, purchasing and shipping items from far away, and burning fossil fuels for energy, release excess carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This rampant carbon dioxide in our atmosphere acts like a heat-trapping blanket. The excess heat energy is warming the Earth's atmosphere and oceans, which changes weather patterns and causes large-scale rain and snowstorms, droughts, and unusual temperature changes. These changes impact all living beings, but especially non-human animals, who don't have the resources that humans do to adapt quickly to weather changes. Frogs can't pack up and move to a better climate, or check the weather forecast to decide when to start calling for a mate, or use a dating app. Fortunately, there are things we can do to help frogs. Frogs are counting on us to carpool, bike, or walk when possible, to shop local, and to purchase locally grown in-season food. All of these actions reduce the amount of excess carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. We can also support or install green energy alternatives, like solar and wind energy. Our actions matter. Frogs and other species are counting on us.